Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. Today's video is going to be sort of a follow-up to a video I did a few months ago, the do's and don'ts of loving some depression. I apologize if I'm looking in the wrong place during this video. I'm still trying to get used to my new phone. I'm not liking this HD thing. It's just too real for me and the little viewfinder's in the wrong place and I can't, I can't get it situated, but I'm gonna do the best I can. So since posting that video a few months ago, I've received several emails, comments, messages, asking, uh, people have been asking me for help in their relationships. And usually the story goes a little something like this. Uh, I've been in a relationship with someone, um, they've been going through a depression, um, and they've stopped contacting me, they've stopped responding to me, um, they don't want to hang out anymore, and all of my efforts seem to make it worse. In all of these cases, these people are worried that they are going to lose the person that they love to the depression because of something that they're doing. And so far, every single time, it has turned out to be the case that the person just didn't want to be in the relationship with them anymore and they didn't know how to tell them. So they would use excuses or they would use depression and I'm not saying that they don't have depression, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is instead of them just being honest with them and saying, I don't think this relationship is working out for anymore for me anymore, they would say things like, I'm just going through something, I'm not sure what I want, I'm just feeling depressed, I just want to be alone. And come to find out they're off seeing other people. Or, you know, they've moved on already, but they, they just can't be honest with them. They're, they don't want to hurt their feelings or whatever have you. So I thought I would make a, a little update to tell you this. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm only speaking from my own personal experience. Um, as someone who does suffer from depression, who has ruined relationships, who has thought that uh, my depression was the cause of breakups when I have later learned that wanting to end the relationship has actually caused depression in the past. I wanted to do this video to hopefully help those of you out there that are facing a similar situation. You're in a relationship with someone, you know that they have depression, or they're telling you that they're going through depression, and you feel like they're withdrawing, they're pulling away, and you're afraid that you're going to lose them because of something that you're doing or not doing. I want you to be able to understand the difference between someone who is actively involved and in love and they want to stay in this relationship and someone who is ready to leave the relationship or is contemplating leaving the relationship and they just haven't found the courage to tell you or they just can't they can't break it to you so they're just trying to let you down easy by you know slowly breaking off communication or you know things like that there's a big difference here now when someone has depression or is going through a depression they are gonna withdraw it's it's gonna happen but they're not gonna withdraw so far that they're gonna let you slip away. That's not gonna happen. If they love you and they want to be in the relationship, you're gonna be able to tell that because they're still gonna respond to your text messages. Maybe not every one, maybe not every single day, but they're not gonna go weeks at a time without responding to you. That's not gonna happen because they're, they're not gonna wanna lose you. They're gonna make sure that you're not going anywhere. They're going to be engaged. They're gonna miss you. They're gonna still having, have feelings for you. So they're going to respond to you. They're not going to fall off the face of the earth, okay? And if they decide that they need some time alone, it may be a day alone, it may be two days alone, maybe three days, a week is going to be pushing it. I mean, if you're used to seeing each other every single day, I would say that a week is really going to be pushing it. I can't see myself being away from the person that I'm in love with for even a day, really, but other people are different from me. Um... So depression does cause people to withdraw. It does make them want to isolate themselves, but it doesn't make them 
fall off the face of the earth. Um, so if you're in a relationship where someone has just stopped responding, they won't answer your phone calls, they won't text you back, they don't want you to come over anymore, um, chances are they're ready to move on and they just don't know how to tell you that. And I know that this is going to be very hard for you to hear. And my advice to you would be that if you feel like maybe you're in this situation, test it out. I'm not saying to run off and say, oh, she's done with me, and then go, you know, jump into a new relationship. Because maybe they are just one of those people who just need some time alone to really just be with themselves and be with their feelings. And maybe they don't want to bother you with what's going on with them. And maybe after a week, you know, they'll be feeling slightly better and they'll get in contact with you. So you don't want to mess up your future by jumping into a new relationship or going and sleeping with someone because you haven't heard from them in a few days. But I think that you should be able to tell, and I know it's it's difficult when you're in the relationship and there's feelings involved, um, it tends to cloud your judgment and you may not be seeing clearly and you may have wishful thinking. Um, so you may not be able to see things for the truth of, of the matter. But um, my take on this and I'm hoping that this will help you in some way because so far everyone that I've talked to about this has it has been the same thing the person has pushed them away has either directly or indirectly said I don't want to be in this relationship anymore and the person contacting me just couldn't see it couldn't accept it uh, was hoping I guess that it was just a part of their depression and that by being more supportive um, doing more romantic things for them that it would make the person wake up and realize hey I don't want to lose this person and the majority of the time that's not the case the truth is if someone wants to be with you if someone is in love with you and they want to be with you and they care about this relationship they're gonna show you they're going to show you in their words and they're going to show you in their actions. They're not going to leave you hanging. They're not going to ignore you. That it's not, it's not going to happen. If someone is withdraw withdrawing and they're just, it's strictly because they're just feeling low and they just need a little bit of time alone, they're going to tell you that. If you text them to check in on them, they're going to respond to you. Unless, of course, they're sleeping or crying or something like that. There's always, you know, it's not a, a um, one answer for it all. But you're going to be able to tell what's really going on. Someone who loves you is going to want you there. At some point in time, they're going to want you there. They, they may want to check in with you once a day. They may have a short conversation with you when you try to call. They're not going to totally ignore your calls. They're not going to totally ignore your texts. They're not going to start going out and seeing other people. So you need to pay attention to what's really going on. You need to, to listen to what they're saying, and you need to pay attention to what they're not saying. Pay attention to both their words and their actions. You need to take time to figure out what's actually going on it's going to save you a lot of pain because you don't want to drag it out if it's if it's if what really is going on is that the person is just trying to slowly break away from the relationship you don't want to pull yourself through the, the fire for any longer than you have it's going to be painful but the quicker you spot what's really going on and you start to take care of yourself and start letting go the faster you're going to you know, the quicker you can begin to heal from it. Now, if you're in a relationship and the person is just going through depression and they tell you, like, I'm in a relationship, but I, I live with my boyfriend. We live together. So when I withdraw, that just means that maybe I don't spend as much time in the same room. You know, he's in the bedroom watching TV. I'm in the living room watching YouTube on my phone or maybe, you know, things that he usually that he does that usually makes me smile or laugh. I can't I just can't muster up the strength to it's just not in me to be silly at that point in time. But I'm not running off and disappearing for three, four days at a time and then saying, you know, I'm depressed. I just need some time away from you. That's not that just doesn't make any sense. You know, I'm going to withdraw into myself we live in the same house. I'm not going to run away. I'm not going to go stay at a friend's house. Um, 
that's just me though. That's just me. Some people may need to go to their best friend's house. If it's a um, opposite sex friend, you need to think about that. Um, some people go to their parents' house. Um, if you don't live with the person, then yeah, maybe they just need a day or two. But I'm telling you, if they care about the relationship, they're not going to let you slip away. They're going to, you're going to be able to tell. You should be able to tell when someone still cares and they still want to be with you. And, you know, you don't want to see the truth of the matter when someone maybe doesn't want to be with you anymore. And they're trying to slowly drift away from you but you need to because I'm telling you you're just gonna drag it out the pain's gonna be so much worse you're gonna feel worse about yourself if you're chasing after something that just is over so I hope this video helps you I'm sorry if you're going through this but just pay attention you if you really look at it you'll know what's really happening so all right that's it for this video guys thank you for watching and I will see you next time Bye.